unfortunately, I regret to tell you that yes, Kanye has decided to declare war on the Jews. I mean it. I'm not kidding you. I I'm not kidding you, okay? Now, if you want proof of this, when it happened last night, I tweeted about this. So, you'll notice something though. Here we go, here we go. Ready? You all told me Blitler wasn't real. And then I had here, quote tweeted, the Kanye West tweet. But as you can see, it violated the rules within 30 minutes or so. So Kanye West's original tweet has been deleted. But, but my lovely imps never ever underestimate me because you should remember that I'm always fast on the draw and I preserve this tweet forever in quote form. Thank you to the quote bot, which I very quickly responded to <laughs> and saved it as a quote bot quote. <laughs> so you all get to enjoy it now. Uh, so this is the tweet here, okay? And this is a quote, so don't get mad at me. This is a quote, I'm going to quote it now. This is a quote. I'm a bit sleepy tonight. But when I wake up, I'm going death con three on Jewish people. The funny thing is I actually can't be anti-Semitic because black people are actually Jew also. You guys have toyed with me and tried to blackball anyone who opposes your agenda. Quoted Kanye West. Now, <clears throat> I regret to inform Kanye West that actually Black people can be anti-Semitic um, because actually it doesn't actually matter if you are, if you consider yourself also Jewish just because you're black, you can still be anti-Semitic. Is this like the black Israelite stuff I heard about? Oh, no, 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 no. This is much, this is like much less structured than that. Uh, Kanye West Kanye West is in a special place right now, okay? He's been in a special place for a while. Um, Kanye West has basically been having like a prolonged mental health crisis in public, being cheered on by the worst people imaginable. And I mean the worst people imaginable. And the more his like mental health crisis proceeds, I mean, guys, do you not remember that Kanye West ran for president because he said that God appeared to him while he was showering and told him that he needed to run for president and that's why he decided to run for president? Do you, do you like, do you not remember that that happened like quite recently? Can we finally call someone mentally ill? No, no, no. Like Kanye West is most certainly mentally ill, but he's also an anti-Semite. Do you see like, like, those two things can coexist and one doesn't necessarily cause the other. Well, I will say that anti-Semitism does often drive people into mental illness, but mental illness doesn't like produce anti-Semitism. It's just that some people, once they become increasingly mentally unwell, they stop containing some of the hateful things that they would have said before. Now, it is a little bit funny um, that he said that he was going to go death con three, um, but then just ended up saying Twitter isn't the place to discuss this. Yeah, because he did, he did, uh, delete the tweet and then he came back to Twitter and said, ah, Twitter isn't the place to discuss these sorts of things. Um, but, uh, I just want you guys to just to recognize something, okay? Which is as funny as it is to see a celebrity completely lose their mind in public and start tweeting the most unhinged and ridiculous things. I just want you to realize that um, unfortunately, most people, well, not most, but unfortunately, a lot of people did not see this as Kanye West um, acting, like acting out his unstable, racist, anti-Semitic worldview, but instead saw it as some form of based okay um I, I and i mean 
really, really bad. Yes, he also did, of course, he also, this was what he said shortly before tweeting directly about the Jews. This is what he said. Who do you think created cancel culture? Obviously, and then, t and then like literally 30 minutes later, he tweeted that the Jews are out to get him. Um, yeah. Here's the Kanye tweet. Yeah, here's if you guys want to see the original tweet that wasn't saved in like uh, in in uh, in 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 the form of a quote bot quote. I'm a bit sleepy, but this is the original tweet. And then he had a picture of himself that says Musk welcomes Kanye back to Twitter after he's been blocked by Instagram over apparent anti-Semitism. Yeah. So um, yeah. Uh, but but. I just want you guys to realize something, which is, um, which is, this is a shocking level of blatant and mainstream anti-Semitism, and also, and despite the fact that it comes from the mouth of, like, a genuinely deranged, uh, celebrity, this celebrity is nonetheless incredibly, incredibly popular. And also, if you go into the comments of any of these, of, of his anti-Semitic tweets, if you go into an, any of his, his gesturing at the JQ, you will see a million Nazis, all of them taking the opportunity to try and red pill people in the comments. And some of them are succeeding. And it just, it just, I, I think it's important that we recognize truly the, the level of like, normalized hatred that we are on um in this country right now um that we have a mainstream news outlet we have the the most popular mainstream news source fox news perpetually screaming about degeneracy and about how your children are endangered by george soros's transgender army of people and then you have some of the most, like one of the most popular celebrities in the world, just, just literally walking out and saying, I think that the Jews are behind all of this shit. It is, we are in like, this is what it looked like guys. This is what it fucking looked like to be in Nazi Germany before the rise of the Nazis. This is literally what it looked like. And if you don't think that like there wasn't pushback at that time, there was. Um, there was like open denouncing. There was like like the liberals going, hey, that's bad. Uh, all that shit, that also existed in Nazi Germany. There was pushback to it. It just wasn't enough pushback. There wasn't a serious, uh, there wasn't a serious analysis of the state of hate. When did Kanye become so Nazi-like? Um, it's been, he, he's been like this for a while. He's been dropping like, like weird anti-Semitic dog whistling for a while. He just went full mask off last night. Posadas John says, I'm pretty sure this is all because Pete Davidson cucked him. Kanye is a weirdo, ha, is a weirdo divorce dad and his skinny monster dick Jewish comedian is fucking his ex. Yeah, um, skinny monster dick Jewish comedian is, yeah, I mean, that's possibly true, but it doesn't really matter. Like, Kanye West is is insanely influential. Anyway, regardless, it's not just that. What I'm trying to, the whole point of me bringing this up is to say that Kanye West is very, very popular. The specific of the fucking McDonald's thing doesn't matter. He's incredibly popular in the music world. He's incredibly popular in the entire entertainment world. He has multiple major brands. He has partnerships all over the world. And, and none of that is pro, Almost none of that, I'm going to guess, is going to go anywhere. Yes, he got one of his tweets deleted off Twitter. He didn't get banned after literally just going out there and dropping raw anti-Semitism on the timeline. Like, blatant. Just blatant anti-Semitism. And we're not, we're not even talking about, like, the, it's not like a fucking, he, he's, like, giving out a political position. He's just saying the Jews are bad. Anti-Semitism, uh, JFK Jr. says, anti-Semitism is so normalized, it's crazy. Although the anti-trans stuff gets those engaged with it more riled up. Uh, they've always gone hand in hand, okay? Like literally, they've always gone hand in hand. 
um, anti-LGBT rhetoric was it was the spear was a spear point in Nazi Germany as well. Yeah, you want to look at the tweet again? Let's just remind it. I'm a bit sleepy tonight, but when I wake up, I'm going DEFCON 3 on Jewish people. Funny thing is, I can't actually be anti-Semitic because black people are also Jewish. You guys have toyed with me and tried to blackball anyone who ever opposes your agenda. This is just Nazi rhetoric. This is, again, just open Nazi rhetoric. From one of the most popular mus American musicians. And, 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 yeah, I'm glad that people are coming out and saying something about it. Like, you know, you do have people here saying, fuck Kanye, that's it, carry on. True, fuck Kanye. But also, keep in mind that, like, the fact that this can happen at all and not completely and immediately destroy you just goes to show you how much sympathy this idea still has in our country. It's pretty fucking gross. It's pretty fucking gross. And I don't know. I think that people just need to be aware of, of, of how of how ridiculously normalized this still is and also recognize the knee jerk reaction that everyone has, which is to excuse it. To basically be like, ah, yeah, yeah, he was being a, he was being, you know, yeah, he was, he was, he was, he was, you know, yeah, that's bad. But should he really be, should he really like lose his partnerships? Yeah, dude. If a, uh, if, if a, if a fucking, if a fucking celebrity stood up and, and tweeted about like how slavery was good, we would expect them to get in fucking big trouble for that. People's love for Kanye's music blinds them from who he actually is. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this guy should be, these pe people should be dropping him like a hot potato. Today should be the worst day that has ever happened for Kanye's business career, but it won't be. And in fact, he'll win over some support from, now, I don't think that it's a long-term financial goal, but we need, but, but that's not enough to send a message. The music industry is full of awful people. Yes, it's full of awful people, but uh, you have to be, but there has to be a, okay. Every industry is full of awful people and some industries are worse than others. However, there are certain things that become completely unacceptable in a society, okay, right? Like for example, um, I would say that uh, that certain types of, uh, bigotry are completely unacceptable in our country right now. Uh, like, for example, if you went on the on to like the news and you said and you're like a white guy and you said the N word, that would ruin your career. It has ruined people's career. That's a good thing that it ruins your career. If you stand up and you say a racial slur on TV, but we also look the other way for a lot of other things: transphobia, anti-Semitism. Uh, slightly like s like w like one level lower than just openly saying the n-word types racism is still excused in our country homophobia is still excused in our country we see these things not as uh as like as like expressions of people's deep held bigot bigoted beliefs even though they are are instead our entire society is obsessed with pretending that like we're the most offended culture ever even though we're not the most offended people in America are fucking Christians, and that's because they believe that they genuinely, they genuinely believe that they're supposed to rule this entire fucking planet. Yes, it is. It is, Ka it is Kanye West. Look, back in 2016, Kanye West was fo photographed along alongside Chance the Rapper and Drake wearing a black skull cap and a slouchy long sleeve shirt with CPFM adult film scrawled across the front. CPFM, for those who don't know, stands for Cactus Plant Flea Market, and since then the brand has exploded in popularity and become one of the most notable names in streetwear in 2020. Cactus Plant wasn't new when Kanye was spotted wearing it. He wasn't even the first celebrity to co-sign the brand. So yeah, he's a part of that. And that is like literally, again, this is like one of the brands that he's pushed, and it's in it is currently the special item at at the world's most popular. A uh, fast food joint. Yeah, the McDonald's thing. Yeah. 
Miss Barry says, no, saying the N-word doesn't end white people's careers. Racism is widely accepted. I disagree with you on just partly on that, which is to say that, no, if you're a celebrity and you are videotaped saying the N-word, it will destroy your career. Uh, fuck, even that guy, um, that comedian, the I always forget his name, Kramer. Kramer got caught saying the N-word and it ruined his life, and that was a long time ago. I'm I'm not saying that white people can't get away with a ton of stuff, but we, that but like saying the N word on on TV is like unacceptable for a celebrity. Yeah, Michael Richards, Hulk Hogan, Jeffrey Star. Yes. So there's like that. Thankfully, we've gotten to that level of society where it's not acceptable to openly say slurs. It's not like, uh, obviously, white people can still, like, there's all kinds of people can get around with, like, it not being on video and all kinds of stupid shit like that. But what I'm trying to say is that, that we have, like, I'm not saying that America, like, the whole point that I'm trying to say is that, th that we still allow all kinds of other things. We have this, we have a society that is incredibly forgiving toward, like I said, towards anti-Semitism, toward transphobia, towards slightly masked racism. We, we have only gotten to the point where, like, the mass of people will not accept that level of, of, like, dis- of, like, open, disgusting racism. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, Paula Dean. Some slurs are completely ignored. Yes, there is a ton of slurs that are completely ignored. It's also fucking concerning. Because the- the- the backlash is, quite honestly, not harsh enough. And that just goes to show you how many people are just okay with Kanye West literally just just opening up on Twitter and saying neo-Nazi talking points. We need to keep up. We need to keep abreast of this shit. I want people to have an accurate analysis of hate in America, and it's really fucked up. So yeah, I wonder if the backlash will develop. We'll see. We'll see if he keeps posting. But the fact that you the fact that you can just log on to Twitter and post something like that. He wore a White Lives Matter shirt and then said he was going to war with the Jews. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying this should be career ending. If if we lived in a sane country, wearing a White Lives Matter shirt while saying you're going to go to war with the Jews, that would ruin your career forever. That should. It should ruin your career forever. You should not be accepted as like a, a, a pop icon by any sane society, any well, any like healthy society. It's, it's demented. And guess what? The, the, the hard truth that, that I don't think a lot of people want to talk about is that this will create new neo-Nazis. There are a ton of people out there. There are a million people out there who are par so parasocially attached to Kanye that when he says that, even if it doesn't outright convert them, it's going to change the way they think about it. It's going to change the way they feel about it because somebody they essentially worship has signed off on neo-Nazi talking points and they're gonna think twice about it. It's, this is how this shit works. We know this is how this works. We know that the vast majority of people uh, who are engaged in po in pop culture aren't super independent thinkers. That's just how it works in America. We live in a country that is dominated by spectacle. Is any news station picking this shit up? Lots of people are talking about it, but very little action is gonna happen. And do you wanna know the raw secret? And this is the most, this is the most horrifying part. Kanye West will keep making money. Kanye West won't be touched because way too many people are making money off of him right now and they won't throw their money away. And so, so what this will end up hap- what the result of this will be is that other rich celebrities who also feel this way will realize that they will not be hurt, that they can say this shit without being punished because guess what? Capitalism, as it turns out, is kind of okay with anti-Semitism, as long as it makes them money. So, I, I, but, but the, what I'm trying to, what I'm desperately trying to get people to pay attention to here is that this is a, this is a bellwether. It's a signal. It, it is the fact that a celebrity of his size can, can will, it feels confident enough to tweet raw neo-Nazi talking points on public platforms and that he didn't lose his account. He didn't even lose his account on that platform.
It just shows you where our country's at. That's just what I'm trying to say. I want people to recognize that. It's not just, it, he's testing the waters for every single Nazi in America. And keep in mind that Kanye and, and the MAGA movement have been like this. If you don't think that like Kanye West is like Trump's number one dude lately, they've been like this. All of the Trump heads are gonna go, yeah, look at him. Now he's speaking the truth. That means we can do it too. It's so fucked up. People who don't see like an impending, uh, an impending race war coming from white nationalists. Yes, they've been screaming about it and they're only getting louder. And now they have mainstream celebrities screaming along with them. You m might not be crazy. You and your friends might not be crazy, but there are entire swaths of America right now who are totally ready to jump right on this type of shit and they're showing that they're ready to do it. They are escalating. The people in America, the, the, the people in America who most agree with the fascist worldview, the people in America who are ready to fucking go to war with trans people and the Jews, those people are escalating and they're celebrating right now and they're crawling through the, the millions and millions and millions and millions of people who are commenting on these things. And there's a million neo-Nazis in there waiting around to just be like, hey, did you know this about the Jews here? Let me spread a bunch of misinformation. Well, there's not much else I can say about that right now. It's just, we should be on the watch out for this and we should be prepared to push back as hard as ever. Um, the time to speak out against anti-Semitism, the time to speak out against anti uh, against anti-trans se uh, sentiment is now. Now is the time to start getting really good at shouting down and bullying uh, anti-Semites and transphobes out of the uh, out of the the uh, the the town square, so to say. It has been time, but we really have a narrow window. The window is narrowing every single day, and it is incredibly stressful because uh, if you look historically, hate is like uh, the way that hate movements foment, the way that they uh, that they build is that they, they, they're like a powder keg. They blow up and the bad shit rolls really fast. The really bad shit, the, the, the killing, these things are, these, the, 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 the imprisoning, the false accusations, the hatred everywhere, the marginalization, these things blow up really fast. There, there's like a tipping point and then it goes downhill really fast and then a burst of, of hateful passion uh, this shit happens. So people have to be fucking ready and push back really hard. And yes, ableism. People who are anti-anti, uh, anti-disabled people who are, who are, uh, anti every single type of, of, of fucking mental illness. They just, they just think that the, like, the, like, you should, you should starve if you have depression. You should starve if you're, if you need to use a wheelchair. It's fucking disgusting.